back to me, you will go away. I'm not gonna be begging you to stay. Hey, it's your girl Kita, and today I'm going to be doing a mini self-care day. So nothing special, but it's definitely well needed. So let's go ahead and just get into it. So I typically like to start with my mouth care and I use these floss sticks by Grin. I really like them because the bottom doubles as a toothpick. Then I move on to brushing my teeth with this smart toothbrush by Quipped. It is battery operated, but it also uses Bluetooth to connect to an app. You will need to press the Q button here to start the timed vibrations, and this gives you a guided brushing experience. The good thing is you can also sign up for brush refills, but I really love the sleek design. I love the fact that the brush holder can be mounted or set on the counter, and it does come in a variety of colors. Next, I use a ton scraper. This one is just a generic one from the dentist's office, and then I move on to mouthwash, and I use Listerine. Today I'm going to be whitening my teeth using the Crest 3D white strips with the LED light. It does come with the top and the bottom strips that you're supposed to leave on for one whole hour. Also, please excuse the faces that I'm making trying to get these strips on, but once your hour has passed, then that's when you're going to move into using your LED light. There is a light on the side so you can start the device and I did go ahead and turn the lights off just so you can see the light a little better. But once your five minutes is up, you will hear a beep and that indicates for you to go ahead and move the device as well as the strips. So once I finish with my mouth care, now it's time to go ahead and get in the shower. And today's shower routine, I am going for a coconut theme. And if you know me, then you know I love the scent of coconut in the summertime. I'm also gonna be trying out the Native Shampoo and Conditioner for the first time. And after using it, I do like it. I just feel like it needs a little bit moisture in the conditioner, especially for my natural hair. Now in the past, I've tried the Native Body Wash and Cucumber and Mint, and it smells really good. But since we're sticking with this whole coconut theme, I am gonna try the Vanilla and Coconut Body Wash. Now it is moisturizing, but I'm really not getting that coconut and vanilla smell that I thought I was going to get. However, I do like the way it lathers and I like the simple ingredients. So it's definitely perfect if you have sensitive skin. I like to go back in with my body wash for a second time using a body brush. And I recommend finding a body brush that has firm, just not harsh bristles because it's a great massager and it's a great way to go ahead and promote blood flow. So you probably can't see it here on the camera, but I do use this back cloth to wash and exfoliate my back and it does a great job. And since I've already shaved yesterday, I'm just gonna go right into my Shea Moisture Coconut Body Scrub to go ahead and exfoliate all over. Once I am out of the shower, I love to use these towel hair wraps to just dry my hair and keep everything out of my face. Now I am someone who prefers to do my face care before getting into my body care. And I like to start off with this steamer that I got from Amazon. I like to start with the steaming, this way I can go ahead and open my pores. And as you can see, this thing puts out a nice amount of steam. I like to use the Mario Badescu cleaners. While I'm in the shower, I use the gentle foaming cleanser. And then when I'm doing my actual facials, I like to use the Gycolic foaming cleanser. That's the one I'm gonna be using right now. And as you can see, while I'm cleaning my face, I like to keep the steamer on as well. And even after I cleanse my face, I like to keep the steamer on to open up my pores so when I apply my skin products, it will absorb a lot better. Now, I'm a huge fan of the Ordinary products, but since I used this 10-minute peeling exfoliating um, facial yesterday, I'm actually going to skip these products and I'm going to go right into my Clarin Double Serum. It's a complete age control serum and I feel like it's not talked about as much as it used to. Now, because of the consistency, I really like to take my time and massage it and work it into my skin. And then once I feel like it's fully absorbed and it has time to sit, then I follow up with my moisturizer. And for today, I'm just going to be using the Olay a collagen peptide moisturizer now we're just going to go ahead and get into the regular one too move into our deodorant and then get into moisturizing the skin today's combination i'm going to be using the vaseline intensive care because it is lightweight and then keeping with the whole coconut theme i'm going to use a little bit of the palmer's coconut oil i like to mix the two because it gives a nice summery glow without being greasy with all the coconut scents that I use today, I actually want my perfume to be the star of the show. You probably heard me talk about how Soleil Blanc by Tom Ford is one of my favorite summertime scents, but lately I have been loving the Alien Goddess by Mugler. 
Now, all coconut scents are not created equal, but this one has a very sophisticated coconut smell, and honey, I absolutely love it. So now that I'm all moisturized and smelling good, I'm just gonna go ahead and throw on some loungewear. You guys know I love my loungewear, and I got this particular set from Amazon. So my battery died when I was doing my natural hair, but here I'm just detangling this unit. Now I don't always put it on. Most of the time I'm just walking around with my natural hair, but today I did go ahead and put the unit back on. And let's not forget about our lips. I'm using this one from EOS, the lip balm. And I also have this coconut milk hand lotion with all the constant hand washing. So now that the bed is made, it is still kind of early afternoon, but I want some coffee. So I'm just gonna go ahead and make me a small cup of espresso. And depending on the day or my mood, I do different things when I'm drinking my coffee. Today I'm just gonna go ahead and do some YouTube stuff because I am really trying to stay consistent. And then once I'm all done, I'm just gonna go ahead and crawl back up into bed, honey, and relax. So because I'm feeling a little fancy, I'm just gonna go ahead and make me a little cheese and cracker tray that I can nibble on while I'm drinking some wine. And I love listening to music when I'm cooking or cleaning. So I'm gonna put on my Neo Soul music station on the loudspeaker, so just to kind of set the mood. Now this particular cheese and cracker board is the Lazy Girl version, and I'm just gonna use the Laughing Cow Original Cheese. The cheese does come individually wrapped, so you can use as much or as little as you want. And then you can just go ahead and kind of pick your favorite grapes. I actually prefer using the red or purple when it comes to this particular board. Now when it comes to crackers, you can kind of use whatever you like. I actually prefer the Pepperidge Farm Harvest Wheat Crackers. They were sold out everywhere, so I had to just make do with these, but I really do prefer the Pepperidge Farm Harvest Wheat Crackers. I make this particular board all the time, especially when my girlfriends come over and we just hang out. So as I already mentioned, I'm gonna be having some wine and the two wines I'm gonna be sipping on throughout the entire evening is this passion fruit wine, which is one of my favorite fruity wines. And then the other one is a romance red. It's a sweet wine because lately I just been in this like sweet mood. And if you know me, then you know I am obsessed, honey with glassware and I just picked up these new ones from Crate and Barrel and honey, these glasses are giving me my entire fantasy right now. Just look how pretty this easy cheese board looks. I'm gonna pour me a glass of wine, go ahead and relax and just enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging with me and I will see you guys in the next one. So maybe if you asked me yesterday, I would handle this shit differently. Things are different, I'm a new me. That's not gonna happen. That's not gonna happen. That's not, that's not gonna happen. So even if you're asking, even, even if you're asking.